Hello everyone, this is Carol. I'm here to share my August design team project and I am doing this for Ephemoire. I'm using the Kit Provincial Cottage. That's Provincial Cottage. This book has been made from chipboard as from a box and it is five and one half inches by eight inches, two and three fourths inch spine. And the back I've chosen to leave plain. And this I saw from Deli Girl recently, uh, Cheryl. And she, there's two eyelets and it just helps support the hitch post on the front so it gives a little more support for the book. I will open it up, and by the way, the front cover is uh, from a page in the kit, and I've made a flower from the background of this page. Opening it up, there are is an envelope this book belongs to. This is one of the many envelopes that come in the kit, and this kit has been beautiful to work with. The colors are all just so pretty and, and just striking, really. There's lots of roosters and hens in the kit, so you will be finding them running through the book. I have used a paper pad called French Country that I got from Tuesdays, and that is part of that. The coffee, the tea, uh, or excuse me, the paper has all been coffee dyed and with a hint of vanilla. I have done some stenciling. There's lots of writing space in this book. And here's a tag from the kit. There's many, many tags. Tracy has done, outdone herself with adding tags and ephemera and pages and just done a really wonderful job. This is a Recollections flower over cheesecloth. There's one of the roosters from the kit. And here is a uh, tuck spot lined. I believe Yvonne Preston does a lot of those. And here's another tag from the kit. There's that rooster coming out. He's been looking for something or someone. Here is a, from the kit a little tuck spot and there is another tag from the kit. A doily with stamping, more stamping on the pages, and as I said, there's lots and lots of pages to write on. There's tracing paper. I have sewn on many of the pages and left the strings hanging for whoever ends up with the book. They can cut them off or leave them on, whatever their preference is. And there's just more stamping and more pages. They're the center of the first signature uh, one of three signatures, and that has uh, little flowers on the end of the strings. Here's a book page tuck spot, another uh, picture, uh, tag from the kit, um, then more writing space. The other tracing paper. Here is a paper that I've done. I've just stamped on it, a scrap piece of paper. Put a ribbon on it, and there are lots of writing space again. Then there's another little micro mini envelope from the kit that I put paper in, an envelope that I make, and I put paper in it too for stationery, more writing space. We go on, and there's more pages. There's a tuck spot, opens up into a flap, and here's another one of those envelopes from the kit. This is from the kit. A doily with a decoupage napkin, and there's a napkin on the other side of the doily, decoupaged. And here is a page that I made a ruffle on and just given it a little more texture. This is from the kit. I've made it three-dimensional. And it's not too bulky for the book. 
but it's just enough to give it some a little bit of flavor. Here is uh, more of the roosters and hens that are in the kit. Another envelope. More writing paper in the envelope. This is a page from the kit. I've made it a tuck spot as well. Turn it over and there's more writing space with ledger paper. More from the um, Tuesday paper pack. These papers are from the kit Hobby Lobby Lace between the signatures. More from the kit. And there's that rooster looking for someone again. Here is a um, Eiffel Tower that has been fussy cut from an embossing uh, paper of an embossing folder that I used and inked and glued onto the page. Here's more from the kit. This is from the paper pad that I told you about from Tuesdays, French Country that's called. And here's another tag from the kit. More tags from the kit. Eiffel Tower. This is from the kit, cut in half and put on paper from my stash to make a tuck. And inside there is another page from the kit. I have put stamped notes up here. Ledger paper on the back for more writing space. More of those hens and rooster. And this is from the kit. Another envelope. This is from the kit. And there's that hen looking for something or someone inside the little tuck spot. And another uh, Rita Donnelly tuck, um, corner and tuck spot. Another doily, decoupaged, stamping with a flower added that I made. This is from the kit. This is actually a page from the kit. I have backed it with lines and the word notes and made it more places to write. And then I used that from that page also. Middle of the second signature. Here's a f Recollections flower that I've added a gem to, and something is happening. There must be who the rooster is looking for. She's hiding. And under that is another piece from the kit, and I've taken paper from my stash and made a little book of notes. And as we go on, there's another tag. This has about four different uh, vegetable uh, pictures on that tag. So they're all different, but there's four different ones. And there's a rooster from the kit also. Another doily that's been stamped. This one I found on Pinterest or somewhere, I think Pinterest, and it just went so well with the book, I decided to add that. And this corner pocket is from the kit. This is from the kit. Index cards under a little brad that gives you more writing space. And that's a cloth um, tuck right there. This is from the kit. This is from the kit. The artichokes from the kit as well as the asparagus. And this is um, more ledger paper that flips out and there's part of the paper. I didn't cover that. It was so pretty. I just decided to leave it with nothing on it. This is from that paper pad and there's that rooster again looking around to see what else he can find. This is from the kit and there's another one of those tags. And there's the rooster, the other end of the rooster, going through the signatures. This rooster is from the kit, this whole page, and I've also made that three-dimensional. Now we're into the third. Oh, there's a belly uh, band that I've made from one of the pages. This is a page in the kit, this is a page in the kit, and I've made it a belly band. This is from the paper pad. And now we have the last of the three signatures, and this is from the kit, as is this. 
lots more paper to write on and more pages from the kit. Here's tags, roosters. It's just full of tags and full of ephemera. I, it's just almost impossible to use it all, but but I tried to do that. And there's um, a page from the kit. This is from the paper pad. This is from the kit. Doily that's been decoupaged. Another tag from the kit. Here is a, another envelope from the kit and I stamped on that stationery and put some chickens on it. Another little flap that I've made. And I've seen Yvonne do that one also quite a lot. So more paper. And this is a ribbon that is like chicken wire and I, I found it Hobby Lobby and I put that paper behind it and there's the chickens behind the wire. I've got some of them a little confined. There's a tag from the kit and of course we're getting ready to have our dinner so we've got our silverware all ready for those chickens. And there's another tag from the kit. Here's a tag from the kit. Every one of these tags are just really, really pretty and fun to use. That's a decoupage napkin on the corner and this is a stamped piece fussy cut. And there's another tag from the kit, another rooster from the kit, and this is from Joanne's A Little Strand of Flowers that I found, and another one of those Rita Donnelly corners. More writing space, and here's another envelope, and this comes in the kit too, so I made it a little tuck spot and place for more writing. Another little micro mini. And stationery in there. This idea I got from Lori Fusco, and she did one of these file folders, glued it in, and made two separate places to uh, for a tuck spot. There's one there and one in front, and I thought that was a great idea. So thank you, Lori. And the middle of the last signature with the little flowers and gems again. And these flowers I put throughout just to, just for fun. More tracing paper. Here's a belly band from the kit and another tag from the kit. Goes in that belly band. And there's a little uh, tag from the kit and one of Crafty Irina's ideas with paper clips. This flower is in the kit. This was just a little piece of ephemera that I had that I added to that paper clip. Here's more, uh, another envelope. Every one of these envelopes are so pretty. And this matches that earlier page. And there's part of that paper from the kit that I fussy cut and made a tuck out of it. Another paper from the kit. And that's from the paper pack. And here's Another tag from the kit, and there's one. And this is an envelope that I made and put paper in for more writing space. This is from the kit, a Recollections Flower on top. Made a tuck spot out of it. This is from the kit. Another envelope from the kit. And the last tag from that kit and here is paper from the kit and this also is and I just put it kind of mix and match added feathers cheesecloth and a flower that flower is cut from this and made from the kit and last is this page from the kit and an envelope that I have made and I always add information about my kits and I sign the paper and you can use that envelope to keep that in or put other things in too. And now that completes my August project, as I said, for a femoir that is um, 
Provi uh, Provincial Cottage, excuse me. And I so thank you all for watching and listening. And I do hope you'll subscribe and, and put a like if you liked the video. And I do hope that you'll come back again. Thanks so much.